Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I want to show you how to build this hand cranked AC generator. It is pretty easy to build. It is just a copper coil with neodymium magnets inside. The magnets rotate and the output is alternating current. You rotate the magnets thanks to this hand cranked toy. Let's start by the rotor of the generator. It is made out of a plastic tube and a couple of neodymium magnets. The tube is from a pen. You can remove the ink by injecting acetone and you need to cut two pieces and glue the two to the main tube like this. This is for easy placement of the two magnets. And then you need to glue them using super glue in order to prevent the magnets to go flying out when it is rotating at high speed. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Now we need another plastic tube. I made this by rolling a piece of acetate foil and you need to make two holes to introduce the rotor. You can use the soldering iron to make the holes. After inserting the rotor you need to glue another piece of tube here to prevent the axis from going out of the hole. The last step to have a functional generator is to wind the coil. I used magnet wire gauge 32 and 400 turns and also since I had enough space inside I added another two magnets because the closer the magnets are to the coil the most efficient the generator will be. Okay I have the generator connected to the multimeter it is in AC and Let's see. We get between 1 and 2 volts, but remember that the multimeter is calibrated to read 60 Hz AC. If I move it to DC, we can see that we get almost nothing. That is because the generator is producing AC. In order to check that we have AC, let's see the waveform in the oscilloscope. You can see how the signal goes up and down from zero. And you can see two little peaks on the wave. This is because our coil is divided in two parts, so we do not have a perfect sine function. But it's still alternating current. And now I'm going to use this little toy that I found in the dollar store to hook up the generator 
and make it turn manually. Here it is, the coil is now fixed to these two pieces of acrylic, so we can now make the rotor turn. And I also added this cable to the two terminals of the coil. Let's see in the oscilloscope. If we increase the speed, the frequency also increases. That is because the magnets are rotating faster and the frequency goes up. We now have around 60 Hz and at slower speed we are at 40, 36. And the amplitude, since we have two volts per division on the oscilloscope, we can see that the peak voltage is a little bit more than 4 volts. The output power is very low. This is just a model, but we can turn on an LED without problems. Okay, there you have it, an excellent project for the physics course or the science fair. I hope you liked the video, thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.